you go to school to get an education, not to be called names or bullied, the Illinois Safe Schools Alliance is working to make sure our schools are a safe place for all students, but especially for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender students in public schools. That was the focus of a meeting tonight in Normal. WMBD's Brett Lemoyne spoke with students to help us understand this invisible minority. Brett, what help is there out there for these students? Well, Bob and Meg, many schools offer support groups like a Gay-Straight Alliance, but the real question is, what protection is available for gay students who are being harassed? Eighth grade student Matthew Clark has had to change schools twice in just a few short years. He faced harassment, even a threat to his life, because he's gay. All sorts of things, physical and verbal. Every day I walk to school, it was really hard. Now Matthew is taking action for fellow gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender students. The Illinois Safe Schools Alliance has been holding forums like this all over the state to raise awareness about the issues gay students face in public schools. I think every day can be an emotional roller coaster for these kids because they never know what's going to come out of someone's mouth. For fear of being outed, many victims don't come forward if bullied in school. And there's another problem. Sexual identity and gender identity harassment cases are protected by state law, but many school districts haven't added those clauses to their school policy handbooks. They should, you know, change their handbook and actually follow the handbook and follow the law. But gay students often feel like an invisible minority. It's often difficult for them to come out to themselves, family, and friends, let alone classmates. I have to, you know, go to my friends and, um, you know, people who I can trust. Matthew's biggest supporter has been his mother. And it's hard enough to be an adolescent in this day and age without having to look over your shoulder constantly. She says regardless of personal beliefs, no one should have to feel unsafe at school. And that's the top priority of a forum like this. And the forum's going to open a lot of eyes. And um, some of the administrators and teachers are going to see that there's something wrong and hopefully fix it. Now you can learn more about the Alliance by visiting our website, ciproud.com. There you'll find information on how you can take action to make schools safe and nurturing for all students. Bob, help